First, we're going to have David Fu, who's going to be talking about universal design in video. If you are doing video marketing at your nonprofit or you're considering it for 2023, the added benefit to, on top of just getting the word out about your programs, the added benefit is to accommodate various audience needs. Some of these needs are old needs, and some of these are newer problems to address. So there are three things to think about that video can help with. The three of them are helping get information to people on their increasingly smaller screens, video to help people with their different learning styles and different ways they take in information, and video to address the trends in how people consume media and information. Back to the first one, small screens. You might have noticed nearly everyone has a mobile device, smartphone or tablet, and increasingly more so than desktop computers. Yet everything is still made for desktop computers. So if you look at the design of phones, from design and manufacture to the way browsers work, the way media and publishers have pushed video to be as a priority, everything is video. It's the screen size, the way anything, if you click on anything video, your phone starts, takes over and prioritizes playing a video. So one thing to think about is that if devices behave this way and people take in information this way, it's probably a good idea to show up in the way that their devices behave. Another thing is websites tend to be wordy, full of menus and hard to navigate. And when your website is offering an essential service, essential program, you want people to have an easier time navigating, easier, sorry, less steps to take, less clicking around, less navigating. So a video is a great way to deliver information with just, let's say two steps, click a video, press play. This is great for people who are on the move and people who maybe only have mobile devices at home. The second way video accommodates people is different learning styles. Some people are visual learners and some people get a lot of missing context from face communication. So if a video features people talking, a lot of what is being communicated is done through facial expression and body language. Body language makes up the majority of communication, which is usually lost when we rely only on text. And finally, consumption trends. It's up to you and your own audience and their own ways of getting information, their own ways of getting, learning about your programs and services from your website. But one example is Refugee 613 in Canada published a report about newcomer media usage trends. And there's high mobile usage among newcomers. That includes consuming entertainment information and learning through video and more so than Canadian born users. So there may be something similar in your audience to consider and video might accommodate them as well. So accommodating people with videos because of smaller screens, different learning styles, and the possibility that their, your audience is using video a lot, the great way to show up for the way that they are using and getting information.